The pandemic has changed how we handle pretty much everything these days. From virtual office meetings to healthcare, even as things ease up, new standards seem to place us in a permanent state of adjustment. Today, Jane Andrews looks at how changing protocols have made us feel. This is A Walk in the Park. I received a text from my sister recently. My mother was sent to the ER. Dropped off, really. No one was allowed inside due to COVID restrictions. My parents live a couple of hours away in a household of four generations. In their 90s, my parents are in remarkably good health. Due to their age, however, a text from my sister is not unexpected. My first reaction to the news was to do what I used to do, which was to pack up the car and go. But things are different now and require us to rely on systems and protocols outside ourselves. Instead of going into action, I found myself in unfamiliar inaction. I stood for a moment and took stock of my feelings. What of this can I control? Nothing. What can I do? Presently, nothing. I am simply a receiver of information. I felt pangs of guilt for not getting in there and inserting myself as a daughter would or could or should. Really, the only person I could take care of at that moment was myself. I wanted to be reassured in the awkward limbo I was in. I felt the need to actually do something to alleviate the powerlessness and fear that overwhelmed me. So, after saying a few prayers, I went outside. There before me was a spectacular sunset bathing the sky in pink and orange hues. Looking back, my house glowed with color and warmth. Instantly, I felt in my heart that my mother would be well taken care of, that she was in good hands, and that I was exactly where I was supposed to be. That was not necessarily the answer I wanted, nor that I could have come up with that myself, but it was an answer I'm learning to accept. After many tests, my mother was sent home to recover with plenty of help and attention around her. I am grateful for that, though uneasy. It takes letting go for me to be reminded by nature that I am simply part of something much greater than myself. I am not everything. I am a part of everything. And things do not necessarily have to go my way. Feeling powerless is not defeat, but instead an opportunity for things to play out otherwise. Tune in next week and each week at this time for another edition of A Walk in the Park with Jane Andrews. Brought to you by Wild Birds Unlimited on Route 2 in Warwick.